Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in to today's second video. We're going to have a look at the weather for 10 to 14 days for today's second video. Day 10 will take us to the 22nd of uh, September and we'll be able to extend out beyond that. We have said GFS and ETM ensembles may run to around a couple of weeks. We'll have a look at the CFSB2 for the next four weeks at the end of the uh, video. And that gets us into October. I'll get to my back for you in a moment. Just say, but first, the video release say was our 6 a.m. UK okay, weather forecast, and we've also released the EC 30-day uh, extended forecast for uh, Europe, so check out those two bids if you'd like to do that. Like, share, subscribe on all of today's videos and content, and thank you so very much, everybody, for doing that. We launched our merch for Gauss Weather Vids uh, yesterday, Gauss Weather Vids merch at our Teespring store. Uh, response has been amazing. The feedback has been absolutely incredible. Thank you so much for the lovely comments about the uh, merch, everyone. And uh, for those of you that have brought some merch, and there have been quite a few sales, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you so much to uh, all of you who have brought some merch. If you would like to check out our Teespring store, you can find the link in the description with this video. We have got uh, a million gals cap. We have got a dick cap <laughs> as well we've got various uh mini gas and do it uh, do it, uh stickers t-shirts etc 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 mugs too looking very very nice we've got a magic water bottle good gracious me you can drink your magic water from your <laughs> from your gas well, his magic water bottle um and of course we've got a uh, general uh, logo um you know, logo merch as well. Old favourites are back too, like the Gals Webber's pillow. That was always the biggest seller um, from the first from the first lot of merch that we did a couple of years ago. So yeah, it's all it's all there for you. Uh, check it out. The links in the description with the video. Uh, the merch will be showing up underneath the videos as well. I think. Um, now the uh, store is connected to the YouTube channel. So, yes, please check out check out Merchants uh, Discount as well, by the way, so you can get 15% off on your first order. Uh, CMDO721 is the discount code. Um, but you'll be able to see that when you, uh, you know, go through uh, checkout and, and whatnot. So put that code in and, uh, and uh, you'll be uh, getting 15% off your first purchase. Thank you so much, everybody, for doing that. There will be more merch coming, by the way. Over the next few uh, weeks, uh, months, so watch this space. We're going to have hoodies, jackets, jumpers as well uh, for Christmas. So um, probably about November, we'll have some more merch set up also. Thank you to my good friend James098, who has designed all of this for us. Thank you so much, James. That's incredible. Right, OK, pluggery done. Uh, let's have a look at what's going on in the tropical Atlantic. So we've got three interest, three, three interest areas. We've got a yellow X just here. We've got Hurricanes Lee and now Margo has become a hurricane as expected. Let's deal with the Yellow X first of all. That's Disturbance 1. There's a 70% chance of cyclone formation with that in the uh, next uh, seven days. So it looks like that will be coming, will be becoming a uh, tropical storm and or hurricane at some point in the future. We've also got Hurricane Margo, which is a Category 1 hurricane now, giving maximum, maximum sustained winds of 85 miles per hour. Uh, so Hurricane Margo just here will move northwards and weaken to a tropical storm again through the weekend and into the early part of next week. And then Hurricane Lee is giving maximum stay winds of 115 miles per hour uh, with a minimum, minimum set pressure of 948 millibars. Uh, so that's a major hurricane now, of course, Category 3. And uh, Hurricane Major Hurricane Lee will be pushing northwards, weakening back to a, um, a hurricane, Category 2 or 1, to the west of Bermuda through the second half of this week. And then heading up into the far northeast of America, potentially as a post tropical storm by the time it reaches landfall um, around those uh, most small um, northeastern American islands like uh, Maine and New Hampshire, uh, for example. So, uh, yeah, a lot going on still in the tropical Atlantic, and uh, we'll keep you updated on all of the latest developments. Setting temperature is levelling off now, so CT is uh, standing at 20.4, still 
very, very hot CT. 6.8 degrees above average. Most original to yesterday, to the 11th of September. But it does appear that the CT is now levelling off and should start coming down over the uh, next a few days gradually there's a uh, there's a poll up on the community uh, tab actually on the youtube channel and uh, we're asking whether you think that uh, this september will be what the september ct will be will it will it be above 17 degrees if it is then it will be uh, a record-breakingly hot september will be 16.9 2006 will it be in the 16s will it be in the 15s the 14s etc so um go to the community tab and uh, and vote make your voice heard and uh and we'll see uh, who comes out the winner in a couple of days means which you have upper air temperature and precipitation ensembles for the next couple of weeks we're at norwich today the red line is the 30-year upper air temperature average for Norwich. We're starting off a little bit above average at the moment. We'll be coming down the upper air temperature in the middle of the week, but then lifting up again. So although not getting back probably to the very hot weather of um, a few days ago, we're not going back up to here. Uh, nevertheless, it does look as though things will be warming up again next week, which is going to delay the drop in the uh, CT, of course. Or will mean that we only get limited uh, drops day by day. Uh, beyond that, into the sort of final week of September, hovering a little bit above average. There is a lot of scatter within me on top of the graph, I have to say. We've got all of the on top of members up here, uh, but we've also got cooler on some members down here. So there's a lot of scatter there. And I think overall it does look as though temperatures will be staying certainly above average, if not as hot as it has been. Certainly the temperature looks like it will be staying above average wet weather today but then going drier through the middle part of the week more rain coming back through the weekend and into the early part of next week and that could well take us through the final week of september which does look rather unsettled so as we say in yesterday's video probably a warm and wet pattern is setting up here temperature normally is shown the to trade for september uh warm and average for england and wales actually a little bit cooler than average for Ireland and scotland a little bit of a northwest southeast split developing uh, precipitation anomalies from the 12th to the 20th of september uh many central regions coming out wetter than average but down in the south and southwest it's a little bit drier than normal as it is across northern parts of scotland latest wind from that from earth no school dot net shows the uh, cold front just here let's highlight it so you can see where the cold front currently is in that area behind that it is starting to feel a lot cooler and fresher warmth is hanging on uh, into the south. That cold front will drop southwards and clear the country um, over the next few hours. So to, tonight and tomorrow will be much cooler and fresher across the board, but then the warmth will start to push back again as we go through into the second half of the week. Note that is Hurricanes uh, Margot and Lee. Let's uh, highlight those, shall we? So yes, we've got Hurricane Margot just there. And Major Hurricane Lee is uh, just there. Disturbance area is around here, I think. That's probably going to become our next tropical storm and or hurricane. Right, let's start going through the chart data. Maybe the latest wind blow map, no one to talk about. Um, latest UK <laughs> Euro run uh, looks like that. So we've got an area of low pressure to the north of Scotland on Friday. Uh, all looking rather slack with the gradients. Into the weekend, though, we've got this thundery low around Biscay developing on Saturday, but tries to push north. We'll probably bring some shy rain in across England and Wales. Meanwhile, meanwhile, further north, under a ridge of high pressure, the northern half of country will probably have quite a dryish but coolish um, weekend. Now, as we get through Sunday, yes, we've got that low pressure trundling up from the south. That could bring some heavy rain and maybe even some thunder into the south over the weekend. And then eventually the Atlantic breaks through. So by this time next week, uh, Tuesday, 19th September, we're into an Atlantic flow there, looking rather wet and windy from the west. Icon, uh, again, looks like that. So rather slack with gradients on Friday, but the main thing... The weekend is this thundery low sitting around Biscay, pulling the warmth back up into the south to some degree, but also bringing increasing risk of wet weather as well, seeing this low running up the western side 
um, with uh, Icon by the beginning of next week. And then we see the Atlantic breaking through as we get through toward the middle of next week with firmly into westerly flow. Then that will be a cooler westerly flow. The air with that is rotating from the North Atlantic, so temperatures will properly freshen up then and uh, drop. And uh, rather showering with showers and or longer spells of rain. GFS 6 z once more, showing that we've got this thundery trough sitting to our south. Notice again the two hurricanes, Margo there and Lee just there, by the way, on uh, Saturday. So over the weekend, that low moves northwards. Does look a little bit thundery in nature, I have to say. Could bring some wet weather through the weekend, especially focus on England and Wales. Have to firm up. On the detail on that. And then into the early part of next week, Atlantic lows pushing through, bringing wet and windy weather uh, with them. So next week just will be rather unsettled and eventually start to bring the air in from more of, of the North Atlantic. So a rather cooler and fresher feel. However, as you go to the last week of September, high pressure then starts building to our east again with low pressure out west. So we start trying to pull up those warm southern ears uh, once more. Um, by the end of GFS 6, they have low pressure again coming in from off the Atlantic Ocean. Uh, we have a GFS 6 Z is looking. Once more, we've got this trough around the country as we get in towards the end of week and the weekend. Looks rather mixed of the weekend with the wettest weather, I would have thought, in the south. And then these low pressure start breaking through from off the Atlantic. There's the remains of Margo. Just there, that little low just there. Lee has been absorbed up here with these areas of low pressure. So we're looking rather unsettled as we go through uh, next week with low pressure in from off the Atlantic Ocean. We've got another sort of tropical storm and uh, or hurricane. Just there, by the way, moving into the North Atlantic. Very, very active season this year for an El Nino, you know, developing El Nino uh, autumn. This is very, very unusual what we're seeing here. I think, you know, it's probably the El Nino combined with um, a lot of tropical storm and or, and or hurricane activity in the North Atlantic that is causing this September to be so very, very warm, probably. It is an unusual combination, creating an unusual September, definitely. Uh, that's day 10. Anyway, back to business. That's day 10. Looking showery, low pressure, close to country. Another low is off the coast of Spain and Portugal then. High pressure reaching in towards the final week of September. Only temporarily, though, this low in the Atlantic breaks that down quite quickly. I shall look as we get to the end of GFS 6 said run. High pressure reaching to south. Lower pressure way to the north and the west. This is the accumulated precipitation forecast based on that uh, GFS 6 f run from the weather outlook. So, five day accumulated precipitation looks quite wet towards the far north and west. Not much rain though for large portions of England. Where if I show you the 10 day accumulation, uh, you can see that between days 5 and 10, significantly wetter in all areas. Even down in the south, we're up to around an inch of rain. 20 millime 25 millimetres or more in these southern areas. Through parts of southwest England, Wales into the Midlands and northern England, we're uh, like going to uh, three inches of rain there, 75 millimetres in some areas um, in the uh, next 10 days. And most of that is occurring between days 5 and 10. So a very wet pattern could be setting up, uh, you know, between days 5 and 10, west of that for the far West of Scotland. It certainly looks like there will be uh, quite a bit of rain around, even if the pattern is relatively warm. Uh, GM, if you enjoyed the video, by the way, please you like, share, subscribe. Thank you so much, everybody, for doing that. Why not drop a comment? Let us know what you think about all of our videos. And don't forget to tell your friends about Gals Well Vids. Uh, thank you so much for doing that. We need to put on around 32, 23 subscribers to get ourselves to 16.9k. Uh, please give us a sub. Thank you so much, everybody. Um, for doing that. Okay, so low pressure to the North Scotland on Friday. Bring lots of wet and windy weather in from off the Atlantic. Then a ridge extending through into the weekend. Should keep most areas dry for GM, but there could be some showers down in the south. However, the early part of next week does turn unsettled again. 
with the GM. That's day nine, looking rather wet and windy there. Maybe some gale force winds to the north of Scotland. And that day 10, another low is waiting in the wings just to the west of UK and Ireland. That could bring further spells of rain in from off the Atlantic just beyond day 10. And then the Inkshem at WF looks like that. All much of a much just for the weekend with this thundery low down to our south, but also bring the walk back in from off the continent again. Into the only part of next week, low pressure from the Atlantic breaks through, uh, turning things more westerly. That uh, would be cooler air coming in from off the Atlantic, but also rather wet and windy as well. And further low pressures trending in from off the Atlantic around days 8, 9 and 10. Keeping things uh, really rather unsettled. Again, just here we have the remains of a trouble storm and or hurricane um, waiting in the wings in the North Atlantic there. This is my precipitation forecast based on the ECM run from TheRedShow.com. It's today showery rain. Of course, that'll be getting out of the way with cold front overnight. Then we go drier overnight into tomorrow before more rain piles into the north and west later on tomorrow. And uh, that wet weather then setting up through the central swathe of the country into the end of week. It looks really quite wet through Ireland, parts of Wales and northern England there as we go into the end of the week. Most of that rain becomes stuck in the north and in the west into the weekend. But some heavy showers and thunderstorms then start coming up from the south with both warm southerly winds as we go through the weekend across England and Wales. So increasing risk of heavy rain and maybe thunderstorms mixed in as well, thundery rain, something like that. As we go through the uh, through the weekend into next week, we establish that westerly flow. So in comes the showers and light spells, rain from off the Atlantic, almost cooler and fresh west wind. See, this is quite a wet pattern that he's setting up here over the uh, next few days. Quite a bit of rain coming in from off the Atlantic, especially through the weekend and into. Uh, next week as well. These are the options on the table within the ECM Ensemble today at 4 day 10. Guess 22nd of September. 15 members of the ECM Ensembles have lots of low pressure to the west of the country. So rather wet, windy from off the Atlantic. 11 again with low pressure in from off the Atlantic bringing quite a bit of wet, windy weather with it. 9 again, low pressure across much of Northern Europe and into the Atlantic. Looks rather wet and windy. Six again, low pressure in the ascendancy. Five more low pressure in the ascendancy, and another five with yes, more low pressure, but a little bit more towards the northwest and slightly higher pressure just to our south. Most of the options there, in fact, all the options are involved with low pressure in one degree or another. The only question is the exact position of the lows. In two weeks' time, these are the options that we've got. Gets us 27th of September. 18 members of the ECM ensembles with low pressure just to our west. Bring lots of wind and rain in from off the Atlantic. Another 18 with uh, low pressure in the North Atlantic into Northern Europe as well. Nine mobiles from higher press pressure to the south. Turning things a little bit drier into the south. And six with low pressure just away to our west. And uh, that's going to be quite a warm and wettish sort of pattern. I've got some high pressure uh, in the Norwegian Sea there. CFS B2 finally, these are 500 millibar height and knowledge breaking down to week peers. The first week peers takes you from the 12th to the 18th of September. This next week, we'll have low pressure in the North Atlantic and across Northern Europe. So it looks unsettled with showers and long spells of rain. Week 2 is the 19th, 25th of September. Deep low pressure then. Uh, more or less over the top of the UK, so that looks a very unsettled week there from the 19th to 25th of September. Um, week 3 <laughs> will be the 26th of September, 2nd of October. That low pressure just lifts out a little bit to the north with some higher pressure reaching in towards the south. And then week 4 has low pressure just to our west, high pressure is to our east we might bring up a southerly so that could be quite warm through early october but could be a little bit unsettled especially for more western regions long way off though that so we'll see okay we don't if you've enjoyed the video please you like share subscribe thank you so much everybody for being there why not drop a comment 
And let's just know what you think about this and all about videos. And don't forget to your friends about gas as well, please. We thank you so much, everybody, um, for doing that for uh, us. Thank you so, so much. And uh, make sure you check out the uh, merch in the merch store. Thank you so much, everybody, for doing that for Gas Web. It's right, I'll just tell you what's happening tomorrow. We're going to have a 6 7 UK weather forecast. The extended USA forecast will be released tomorrow as well. I'm going to try and get the um, the summer forecast verified as well. Uh, I've got to do that, so I might try and tick that off uh, tomorrow off the to-do list. And I'll uh, be live streaming at 6 p.m. We'll live stream our 10 to 14 day, so I shall see you alive for that one. But uh, enjoy the rest of your Tuesday. And uh, for this one, that's all for now. And thanks for watching.